Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R750 server. In this video, we're going to specifically focus on RAID. Let's get going. Hey, thanks for stopping by today. It's a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R750 server. Do us a favor, find anything that helps you in this video. Click that like smash that subscribe. All right, well, this video is going to be specifically dedicated to RAID. So what we're going to do in this video as a whole, we're going to start by talking about the two types of form factors that are going to work for the R750. Then we're going to put up a nice little handy chart that's going to compare the different RAID options. and It's going to show a lot of the specs and what are the differences between them. Then we're going to show you how to physically install your RAID controller. And then at the end, we're going to show you how to configure RAID 5. So yes, there's going to be a lot going on. So let's just hop into the good stuff. All right, so first things first, there are going to be two form factors, and no, it's not the Mini Mono anymore. The Mini Mono that we saw from the 14th gen is out. You can still use a PCIe RAID card. Yes, the PCI RAID card will work just fine, and this is an option. Or you can use the new and improved. This is going to be a front RAID, and it's going to be really important that you have this bracket with it as well, and the card and the cache. You're going to need everything that goes with it, but this is going to be a front RAID. This is the new option. We're going to install it and wait for it, the front, and we'll show you how to do the install in just a second here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put up a nice little handy chart. This chart is going to show you the different RAID options. It's going to compare your cache, if it's hardware RAID, the PCIe versions, all the good stuff. So here's a nice little handy chart. So you might want to pause it right now if you want to compare and pick and choose which RAID is good for you. All right, now let's get into the fun stuff. Let's show you how to actually do the install. But before we do, I'm going to grab my ESD gear and be right back. All right, I have my ESD gear on. We're safe to work on our machine. So I wanted to show you again, this is going to be your PCIe form factor. And this will be the front RAID controller. So this is going to be what we're going to install first. Let's go ahead and toss these to the side. So we are going to pop our latch, lift our top. It's Mason with Cloud Ninjas, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install your front RAID controller and your PCIe RAID card. First, we need to remove this air baffle and set it to the side. Next, we need to remove these cooling fans. Go ahead and flip these blue levers up, and then you can simply slide the cooling fans up and set them to the side. Next, we need to remove this metal bracket. All you'll need to do is slide it back and lift straight up. Now as you can see, we have our RAID cables here. We will need to connect our RAID cables to the controller before screwing it in here. And of course, you will need your Phillips head screwdriver as well to ensure the screws properly hold the controller. As you can see, I have my RAID controller and you'll notice that there are these two black cylinders on the sides. And this will be where we slide the card onto these pegs in order for the controller to stay attached to the front. On the back, you'll see that these cables will connect on both sides. So let's start connecting our RAID controller with these cables. You'll hear a click sound once the cable is inserted, like so. This one is the letter A, and on the controller and the cable, it'll also say A. This side will also say a letter. For instance, this is B and you'll need to match it with the cable that is also labeled B. So now we can go ahead and insert this cable into the B port. Got a little tangled trying to show the camera. <laughs> now we can go ahead and slide the controller onto the front by using these inserts here onto the pegs here. There won't be a noticeable click sound, but there is a small click that lets you know that the controller is fully inserted. Now that it's on the pegs and the cables aren't in the way, we can go ahead and screw the controller into place. Alright, now that that's done, we will show you how to install your RAID controller via PCIe. Alright, so we have our PCIe card here with a high profile bracket. Now in the back, here you, you will see that this is riser 1, this is riser 3, and this is 4. Riser 2 is right underneath. We will start to remove our risers first. So first, you're going to go ahead and unscrew all the risers from the server, and these screws are located in the back. Usually, you can probably do this by hand, but sometimes they're a little bit tighter, so you will need a Phillips head screwdriver to make sure that those are unscrewed. We went ahead and unscrewed the back here, to, just to save us time and show the risers. As you can see, in the back is where the screws are, 
and that's where you'll unscrew the risers from the server. For riser 3, you'll also unscrew it in the back and push this lever back and just simply lift straight up. Now we will remove riser 4. Same thing for this one. You'll just unscrew the back and push this lever forward, lift straight up. So looking at riser 3, we can see these PCIe slots. You'll see these fillers in the back that you'll need to remove. We are going to remove one to make room for our PCIe card. Go ahead and flip this bar back and simply just remove this filler by sliding it out and set it to the side. So as you can see, we now have access to install this RAID card into the PCIe slot. First we'll need to slide this black tab to the right so it's not in the way. It may take some force, but just be careful. And now we can make sure that the leads match up to the PCIe slot and line up the bracket so that it's flush to the riser. This will also guide you to install your card correctly as well. Then just push it in and make sure that the bracket is flushed with the riser. And once you've checked to see if the RAID card is fully in the slot, you can go ahead and fold this black bar back down and then slide this tab back to secure the card. Now you'll just set the riser back into place and set it back onto the pegs you lifted it from. This is how you install your RAID card via PCIe. Unfortunately, at the moment, we do not have any cabling to show you guys for the PCIe RAID card. But if you look here, this is where the cable will plug into the motherboard, and it will follow along this edge on the right here and around the power supplies to connect to the RAID card in Riser 3. Side note, the front RAID cable is actually different than the PCIe RAID cable, so don't try and mix and match or get confused with these two cables since they will not work. They both have different connection types. So make sure you use the right cable for the right RAID controller. And now we're going to show you how to configure RAID 5. All right, so now we're gonna show you step-by-step -step instructions on how to configure RAID 5 with your 15th gen server. Now, RAID 5 is one of the most common configurations out there. It will require a minimum of three hard drives and do make sure that your controller does support RAID 5. During post, you're gonna to wanna to press F2 and this will take us to system setup. Once you get into system setup, you're gonna to go to device settings. Within device settings, you're gonna find the hardware that's installed in your server. Here you will select your desired RAID controller. Select main menu. In the main menu, you're gonna select configuration management and go down to create virtual disk. So what we wanna do now is select the RAID level that we want. In this case, we're gonna select RAID 5. We're gonna leave unconfigured capacity selected. So now we're gonna click on select physical disks. On this menu, check both for the select media type option. Then we're going to select all the drives that we want to configure in our RAID. Select apply changes, then click OK. On the create virtual disk menu, click on create virtual disk. Click on the confirm box and click on yes, and then OK. To confirm the RAID was created, Head back to the main menu, then select Virtual Disk Management, and you'll find here that we've configured RAID 5 to our virtual disks. Congratulations, you've successfully configured RAID 5. Hey, if you found this video helpful, do us a favor, click that like, smash that subscribe, and if you're looking for any custom-built Dell, HPE, Supermicro, IBM, Cisco, we would love the opportunity to earn your data center or earn your home lab's business. Please email us at sales at cloudninjas.com. That's sales at cloudninjas.com. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Take care.